Are there any more stories about Daniel you told us yesterday? Of course. There are so many. Do you want to hear another one? Yes, yes father. father. All right. Listen carefully. In the last episode, we saw how Daniel was put into the lion's den because he worshipped the God of Israelites. While he was in the den, an angel appeared and saved Daniel. King Darius realized that Daniel's God was the one true God and he instructed everyone in the empire to worship him. Daniel was rewarded with many gifts and the king appointed him as one of the main advisor in his council. Daniel's wisdom grew famous among the empire and many people came to seek his advice. It was during this time that there lived a man called Jochim. Jochim was very rich and he was also a kind man. He was considered wise and was liked by everyone. In those days, the court hearings were held at his house. What is your complaint? You may speak in front of the judges. Sir, I had borrowed 100 shekels from this moneylender last year. But now he's saying that I have to pay him 500 shekels back. We are very poor and we could not manage that much money. When we failed to repay, his men came and evicted us from our own house. Please give me justice, sir. He is lying, sir. He had borrowed 500 shekels from me last year. Here, I have the proof with me. No, I did not. I don't know to read and write. And he cheated me. May I see the document? Sure, sir. Hmm. What do you say, Jochem? Is he telling the truth? No, sir. This document is forged. The farmer is telling the truth and this man is lying. Then we must punish the money lender. No! You must give back his property immediately and you shall be sentenced to prison for three years for violating the law. Gods! Arrest him! No, please! Thank you, sir. I got justice because of you. Don't thank me. It's God who saved you. Now go in peace, my brother. The judges heeded the advice of Jochem and justice was served to everyone. Jochem had a wife and her name was Susanna. She was a firm follower of Lord God and a devoted wife. They lived happily with their three little children. Father! Oh, there is my youngest son. Did you miss me, you little one? You look so tired today, dear. Yes, Susanna. It's been a long day. The number of complaints are increasing every day. Here, drink some water. When are the new judges coming here? Oh, I forgot about that. The new judges will start coming from tomorrow. I hope they are honest and kind to the people. I hope that too. Many lives are dependent on these judges. But the two new judges elected that year were wicked men with no fear of God. Hmm, Joe Kim looks like a very rich man. Look at his house. He must be taking a lot of bribes. Otherwise, how can he be so rich? Whether he takes bribe or not, we should not let him stop us from taking the bribes. How can he stop us? Don't forget that we are the judges. <laughs> Catch me if you can. Ha <laughs> ha. I will just see. Excuse me? Are you joking? Yes, I am. And you must be the newly elected judges. Yes, we are. That's great. We were waiting for you. Come, please be seated. Stop playing and come inside, children. Father has work to do. 
Wow, look at her. She is such a beauty. Oh, I forgot to introduce my wife. Her name is Susanna and these are my children. Susanna, which means Lily. Nice name. You are beautiful like a lily too. Thank you. I'll leave you now. You can start with your work. Joking? You are a lucky man to have such a beautiful wife. It's all his blessing. This man borrowed 200 pieces of silver by pledging his land. It's been more than two years now and he is not returning the money. Nor is he allowing us to confiscate his property. Sir, there was no harvest last year because of the famine. Everybody knows about it. If he takes away my house, then my family will have nowhere to live. All I'm asking is to give me one more year to pay the debt. Please, sir, please give me justice. Sir, I think we should give him some more time to repay the debt. What? One more year? He already had enough time to repay. Yes. We must rule in favor of the money lender. But sir... No buts, that's our decision. You are free to confiscate his property. And you, you poor soul, you should repay your debts in time. Now go away. No, please, take him away. This is unfair. Gods will never forgive you. How much did the money lender pay us to rule in his favor? Hundred silver. <laughs> we will soon be very rich. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, hmm. I'm a little tired now. I will come back in some time. Come back soon. We have many complaints today. I will be back in a few moments. What happened, dear? Why are you looking so upset? Those judges, they... What happened? They are so corrupt. I saw them taking money from the money lender and they ruled in his favor. They crossed the life of a poor man and his family. What am I supposed to do now? Hmm. Don't worry, dear. God will take care of it. Susanna had a habit of taking a walk in a garden after everybody had left. That evening, as usual, she went out with her maid. Why do you take this walk every evening? Hmm. It's a big relief to spend a few moments silently in this garden. That's why. But the judges hadn't left and they saw Susanna walking in the garden. She is beautiful. She is amazing. What? Did you say something? What? No, I, I did not. Did you say something? No, it's time to leave. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Huh? Did he go? Hmm, he's gone. Now I can watch her all by myself. Huh? What is that? You? You... you didn't leave? Yes, I. Uh, I was. But what are you doing there? You tell me first why you came back. There is something going on. Hmm. If you promise to tell me the truth, then I shall tell you my reason. All right, all right. We have done so much together. And why should I hide the truth now? I was standing here to watch Susanna, wife of Joe Kim. <laughs> Honestly, that was my plan too. Ever since I saw her, I just can't keep her out of my mind. Same here with me. <laughs> it seems that she takes this walk every day without fail. Then we shall come every day too. <laughs> <laughs> The judges made this a habit. 
Every day, when Susanna comes out of her walk, the judges hide nearby and watch her. As days passed, their passion for Susanna became uncontrollable. They started making devious plans to achieve what they desired. One day as usual, Susanna came into the garden. There she is! It's so hot today. I think I'll take a bath in this pond. Would you please go and get my things? Yes, madam. And hey! Don't forget to lock the gates when you leave. I will, madam. When the servant left, the judges came out from the hiding. Come quick. This is the best chance we will ever get. But what if she won't agree? How can she? We will threaten her and force her. Don't forget that we are the judges and we can do anything. Hmm. You are right. Let's go to her. Huh? Honorable judges? How come you are here? And that too at this hour? We don't have any time to chat with you. Give yourself to us just for a little while. We shall leave before your servant comes back. What are you saying? Don't you know that's a sin? Don't teach us about right and wrong. We know all about that. Come on, just this time. No, never. I will not. It's against God and my husband. It is wrong. Don't you know who we are? We will destroy you and your family if you don't agree. First we'll charge false accusations on you and then we will kill you. And after that, we'll kill your whole family too. Don't you want to save yourself? Your husband Joachim seems to be a kind man. No. God, help me. No God is coming to rescue you. Say yes to our demand and you shall live. It is a sin to be with you. And if I refuse, then you're going to kill me. God, I place myself in your hands. Please save me. You are still refusing? Come with me. We'll show her what we can do. Please God, please help me and my family. As Susanna cried aloud, the servants assembled outside the gates of the garden. The judges opened the gates and came out. They started telling a false story to accuse Susanna. You dirty woman! We now know what kind of a woman you are. What's the matter? What happened to you, madam? We shall explain that tomorrow during the hearing. Now go and lock her up till the hearing starts. The judges decided to accuse Susanna of a crime she did not commit. There were many people outside Joachim's house eager to know what had happened. Yesterday afternoon, when we were walking in the garden, we saw your wife Susanna with a young man. Huh? I was with him in the garden and I saw that too. She was standing with a man under a tree and embracing him. No! That's a lie. Shut up. Let us finish. When we reached near where they were standing, the young man saw us. He panicked. He pushed us aside and ran away. We thought you were a pious woman. But she's a sinner. According to the law of Moses, she should be stoned to death. But sir, I know my wife. She's a pure woman. There must be some misunderstanding. Are you saying that our eyesight is poor? We saw them and it was as clear as daylight. Now take her away and prepare her for her punishment. No, sir, please. Gods! All that you said is a big lie. You give false witness and then you judge? May the Lord protect me. Mother, please don't go away. I don't believe it. There is something wrong. I know Susanna. And she is as pure as her name. She would never do anything wrong. 
people knew that Susanna was pure and has done nothing wrong. But the judges had given their orders and it had to be executed. With much reluctance and sorrow, people took Susanna outside the city gate to be stoned. But God was going to protect her. Our plan worked. She will die now and no one will know what we did. That was a brilliant plan. Oh no, I don't know what to do now. I'm sorry dear. I never thought those judges could be so cruel. It's not your fault dear. Don't worry and trust in God. Everything is happening as per his plans. Hey, look over there. Who's that? That's Daniel, isn't it? Why is he blocking our way? Hey, look, it's Daniel. I hope he will do something to save our madam. Daniel! Huh? What is he doing here? Daniel, what are you doing here? Move aside and allow us to go. Israelite! How foolish are you to condemn an innocent woman to death? And that too, without a proper trial? What are you saying? We gave her a trial and found her guilty. Everyone, return to the court. These men have given false evidence against her. I will prove that. Everyone, come with me to the court. How dare you accuse us like that? If what you are saying is the truth, then you can prove it in the court. I will be questioning you individually to test if what you said is the truth. You go and sit in the other room. I will call you once I'm finished with him. But just obey him. Otherwise people will know that we lied. All right, I will go. Now, you tell me, tell me what happened in the garden. Yesterday afternoon, we were walking in the garden when we saw her with a young man. They were standing under a tree and when we approached them, the young man pushed us aside and ran away. Hmm. Now tell me, under what tree did you see them? Huh? Hmm. Uh... I saw them standing under the oak tree. Yes, it was an oak tree. Oak tree, is it? You have heard what he said. I will now call the other judge. You can go now. Send the other judge. Tell me what happened yesterday. How many times do I have to say that? Just tell us one more time to prove that you were telling the truth. Hmm, all right. Both of us were taking a walk in the garden yesterday afternoon as usual. Suddenly, we heard some sound. And when we looked there, we saw that Susanna was embracing a young man under a tree. We were. Can you tell me under what tree were they standing? Huh? I... I think... It was that mastic tree. Yes, it was that mastic tree. Liar! Huh? Liar! Liar! You wicked sons of the devil. The other judge told us that you saw them under the oak tree. And now you say that it was a different tree. We know now that you are liars. Uh, I I'm, I'm sorry. How many maidens were abused by you? When Susanna resisted, you decided to kill her. Liars! Liars! Kill, kill them! them! Kill, kill them! them! Release her! Take these men instead and punish them! Mother! Oh my child! The judges were taken outside the city gates and they got the punishment they deserved. God will never abandon those who trust in Him. Susanna, I am proud of you. You chose to die rather than to sin. You are a role model for all. May God bless you.
praise and glory to the Lord who heard the cries of the innocent. Thank you for saving me, Lord. How can I thank you? I will sing your praises for the rest of my life. And that's how Daniel saved the life of Susanna and her family. That was an amazing story, Father. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Father, are you going to ask us any questions today? Yes. Are you ready? Yes, yes Father. Father. All right. Now tell me what does the name Susanna means? The name Susanna means Lily. That's correct, Matthew. And who was Susanna's husband? It was Joachim. Correct. And tell me how Daniel proved the innocence of Susanna when she was blamed of committing a sin. He called the judges separately and asked them to name the tree where they saw Susanna. When both of them named different trees, Daniel knew that they were lying. Excellent, George. That's all for today. I will come back tomorrow and tell you the story of Esther. Thank you, Father.